Yes, looking forward to seeing the tall man from Poland who collects national opens for a hobby. Try and win a PGA here at Royal Queensland this week. We'll take a look at some Adidas highlights right now. Lucas Herbert, who fired a 66 yesterday and sticks one close at the par 3 fourth after a sloppy opening night. Matt Thompson joins us in commentary. G'day, Warren. Yes, one of the most noteworthy win players in the game, Mark Leishman. Two under today, five under for the championship. Also on the fourth, Jeff Ogilvie was a little frustrated after an opening round of three over yesterday, but he's channeled that out there this morning. Take a look at that. Nearly an ace, not far from it. Round of 67 for him today. Lucas Herbert, after being out in 37, two over par on the front nine, his second nine, certainly had it going. A chance for a birdie there at the par three eighth, chipping in for yet another one on the front nine, five of them in total. And a 68 today off the back of his 66 yesterday has him in great shape. A second nine today of just 31 moves him into a share of the lead. Looking resplendent in his yellow and smiling in the Queensland shut. Why wouldn't you? The sun shining brightly. A number of the players that we've spoken to already have mentioned the windy conditions out here at Royal Queensland today. It has been blustery from the early stages of the second round and that will continue throughout the afternoon. Lucas Herbert, a fine round as Warren already pointed out, uh, came home playing the front nine. Uh, second with five birdies and uh, 31 on the uh, the front nine to uh, be the joint leader here with Joel Moscatel. We'll see Minwoo Lee throughout the afternoon, one of our feature players. He was char grilling the golf ball yesterday. Let's see whether he can continue. Curtis Luck has put together two outstanding rounds of golf, finishing off here on nine, started at 10. And this for birdie. And we now have a four-way tie at the top of the leaderboard. Curtis Luck, minus eight. Now Adam Scott in our feature group. The 11 a.m. tea time alongside Adrian Moronk and Cameron Davis. He's second here to the opening par four first. A little easier pin to access today after it was mid-green yesterday, tucked behind the bunker. Here is Adrian Moronk. Yeah, that flag just, just on the little peninsula over on the right. You'll see a slope just left of it that that pitches into. We're in for a ball striking clinic with three. These three guys out there. This afternoon, Cam Davis as well. His second at the first. Hit 12 of 18 greens in regulation yesterday. The Sydney Cider, and he is one for one here. Third player in the group from Western Australia, Min Wu Lee. Oh, this absolutely striped down the left-hand side. No problems for bunkers for Minwoo. That is huge. Here's Adam Scott. Now the Sydney sider, Cam Davis. The benefit of seeing Adam Scott's putt just about worked out the problem there. We are tapping. So for the 28 year old. Lower ball flight, it's got to get up. He's really struggling for commitment. He said over his shots yesterday because nothing was going where he wanted it to. Bring it in low, this looks pretty good for distance. Oh. Looks pretty good in general. A stunner. Deceptively uphill. Well done. What a way to start. Day two. Rock solid. Oh. 
We have three in the lead here at Royal Queensland. That is very beautifully done from beyond the green. Once again, good strike. Looks pretty good for distance. Buller. What a shot. <laughs> Apart from the line <laughs> and the length, it was great, as Minwoo told us. Needs nice. a confidence builder, and that is at least a club short. Two holes in a row. Well short with the wedges. Oh. A good analogy of uh, his last 24 hours. Hopefully not the next 24. That was the look of a man who's thinking, is it going to be that kind of week? Adam Scott. See if he can dial it in. Struggled to do so at the last pin today, just to atop a little bit of a ridge. It's much better. Course is looking absolutely gorgeous. Adam Scott, lovely putt there, gets to minus six. This has got a bit of a backstop, this, this pin, so they can take dead aim at it, that's for sure. Sporting a new set of irons in the bag I've seen this week. Isn't it amazing that he's, he wasn't overly happy with that and it's gone to about, uh, about 12, 15 feet? You know, pretty flat putt actually, but slow. First couple of holes, his wedges have let him down. Let's see if he can knock one closer here. first couple he came up short and now on three it's the one place you do not want to go on this hole it's very difficult up and down that is a much steeper bank than it looks on camera there a reaction of resignation there from Cameron Smith he needs to find some fighting quality to save par here Binwoo Lee just keeps knocking down the flag but this is Cameron Smith from over the back of three have to use all his magic here I know it's 12 feet away, but that's actually still a very good effort from down there. Oh, that was a must make, wasn't it? Even at this stage of proceedings. Minwoo Lee. It's for Birdie at three, and he's walking them in. Starting off just right of it, trying to turn back. Looks pretty good. Oh, it is. It really is. Oh, he does not look in sync at all at the moment. This heading right. That is more like it. Well, the angle is not so kind. Bobby for birdie. He's drained it. Cam Smith for an up and down outside from the bunker here on four. That's something you don't see too often. Cam Smith missing short putts. Well, he has the job in front of him. The BGs will be pumping at full decibels right across the weekend. Jake McLeod. That's quite brilliant. <laughs> Jake McLeod for birdie at three. Taps in. That was clever. Up ahead, Adam Scott. 30 feet or so. What a view this is. Oh. How did that not drop? What a good 
good try. It's been pretty good so far today. Up and over. And tracking. Oh, had a good look, didn't it? Rokuyu Oshino, one of our Japanese visitors. A birdie chance here, albeit a very long one, at three. It's on target. He's got it. An absolute bomb. Adam Scott from the back of the green. Oh, he's rolling this long putter beautifully at the moment. Rolling up that leaderboard as well. Apparently in a tie for second. Oh, beautifully played. That is stunning from over there. I'm, I'm assuming he took driver off the tee there, Ewan. Disgusted. Rock solid four from Inwu Lee. A little disappointing he didn't get the birdie to extend his lead, but got to start getting things going in the right direction. Three over yesterday, and uh, two over rather yesterday. Three over becomes four over right here. He's going in the wrong direction. He's just so out of sorts. Isn't he? You can just see off the tee. Adam Scott, prodigious drive here at seven. Mid iron in hand at 545 metres. He reaches the green in two. Eagle putt coming up. To be avoided, Adam Scott managed to do that. Hit a mid iron here, has this for Eagle to take the outright lead. It's on track. Oh, and misses by a whisker. So that's going to take him to four under par for the day. So charismatic to watch. His game matches his personality on that front. Much more fluid. Cam Davis. And this should slip a little bit right to left. It's straight downhill, but straight back into the breeze. Nearly caught the back edge. Off the uh, front edge of that green. Adam Scott will make his par at eight. Stays locked in the lead with Minwoo Lee. Needs a new double A battery in his ball. Half a roll short. It'll be a par. Tight little pin today uh, over on that right side of the eighth. Just 232 to the front, 239 to the flag. I would think about 225 will be the ideal carry number here for Minwoo Lee. Looks pretty good. Oh, just got a firm bounce. Stay there. It was a firm and favourable one, that's for sure. Well, it wouldn't be quiet with Minwoo Lee in the mix, you know that much. Down the hill here at at the par five. Would have liked to see that one. Towering mid-iron after driving it down the right-hand side. So it's a birdie, and again, Minwoo Lee has the lead on his own. He's a confident type, isn't he, Minwoo? Yeah, but you know what? I mean, I was there too, and I think it shows how healthy their relationship is because everybody takes that the right way. And... Uh, it was great to see all these guys on stage. So it, the one that we just saw, uh, Merong, is actually probably just a bit too far. He might have a bit of that slope to uh, to deal with. So we go back to A. That was aggressive. Same could be said of uh, Minwoo Lee, although this is for the par coming back this time. Blemish free so far today. Only had the one drop shot yesterday. Let's send a ball right of the green reason why he sends this all the way up there to try to get rid of that slope there that's actually a pretty decent result from Morong. pitching up here his third shot 
to nine. And another birdie chance. Adam Scott, a chance to join Minwoo Lee at the top of the leaderboard. Oh. <laughs> a missed opportunity. I think his problem there was he hit it too close. He seems to make those 15 footers rather than the five, six footers. <laughs> As we look at Minwoo Lee on nine here. This is nine. Oh. Yeah, that needs to sit down and quick. Might get lucky hitting the tree, but that water hazard or that penalty area comes in really quick once it hits it left. Yeah, 174 for Min Woo Lee. Not easy to get all the way back to the flag here. Good looking strike. This about 10, 12 feet left of it. Looks good. Oh, what a shot. You could see it on our screen how well that took off. Oh. Could you imagine if he made par there? Oh. Squeezes past. Oh, he walked it in from a long way out. He's too clear now. So, bogey for camp. Oh, what a putt. Great putt. Great putt. Connor Syme, compatriot of Bobby McIntyre. This is his third shot. And that is lovely touch. And still a very dear friend. John Lyris from this St. Michael's Golf Club in Sydney, New South Wales. What a shot. Hello. For the first time today, John Lyris featured on our coverage. Now Adam Scott, head on 10. Trying to find this very small target here. Oh, oh, oh. go in! Oh. Well, I told you it was a small target. <laughs> that was almost a bullseye. He is striping the golf ball today, Adam Scott, and so unlucky not to go in. Scott, after almost holding his second, deserved a birdie. Well, Minwoo wasn't too clear for long. Adam Scott, the broomstick's been on so far today, just to the right. From the thick stuff. We've never seen him play the way that uh, he is this week, safe to say. Not in recent memory, at least. That's going to be a double bogey. Should move from his right to left. Oh. He will still take the lead on his own, though. It's not often you do two lip outs on the hall and make birdie <laughs> still. First half of the journey, left to right down the hill, then flattens and straightens out. Gave it a good attempt. Four over for the day. Confident pass save from Minwoo Lee. I'm wrong at it easy. Spare a thought for Robert McIntyre as we go to him down the 12th. He's going to find the green. Is it just going to get past that ball? Oh, another oh, beauty. Yes, <laughs> it does. And amongst um, Davis, sorry, and amongst the trees on 13. Oh, good shot. Anyway, on the green would be a good result from there. Oh. It's better than that. I mean, that is 12 out of 10. Now, this is his third shot after the divot intervened in his previous attempt. That is so good. A little tight for Robert McIntyre. 
Cam Davis at 14. It's on target. Straight in. So he saves par to maintain his lead. Perhaps it was the work on the short game he did yesterday. The 14, Minwoo Lee. With the lob wedge out. Oh, it almost went in. Another near miss. Get to seven under within four of his playing partner, Adam Scott and Minwoo Lee. Bobby McIntyre. Sounded a little clunky off the face, catching up just a touch heavy, no spin on the ball. Can you pitch this close? But he makes it. He's on top on his own once again. See now Adam Scott on 16. See if he learnt something from Moronk. Really? Ew. Five under for his round. No bogeys. And it's looked quite effortless to be honest. This is an extremely slow putt from right to left. Great judgment though by the Sydney Sider who will tap in there for his four. Tried to play the bump and run up the hill. Very risky shot. And now... Oh. Jack to Lyris. What an awkward one this is, Nick. Yeah, it certainly is. I think he's going to try and bump it again. With much... Oh, oh. my goodness oh. me. <laughs> now that is how you make a birdie at 12. That is unbelievable. And Adam Scott with some rowdy support. He made this almost exact putt last year. And he just about did it again. Yeah, well done, Adam Scott. And they like it. The man who leads the tournament, or did, for Minwoo Lee, is able to join him oh, and yeah. surpass him. Lee back in front on his own. Oh, nearly a two. Nice shot. Approach into the final hole. Another steady round to go for him. Oh, spectacular from Cameron Davis. There's one behind Minwoo Lee. Has this for Birdie to try and join the West Australian. Had it online, just didn't quite have the pace. Missed a few in the 8 to 12 feet range. Still 36 holes to go. And we're going to see a lot more of that man come this weekend. It's always a delight to have Adam Scott back on his home shores on our screens. And he's finished off with a very nice round of 65 to date. Yeah, very nicely done, threw it all the way past that. Little change of scenery, change of golf course. And, well, a lot needs to change after what we've seen out there today, Nick. Yeah, perhaps a change of putter, although mm. it has worked some magic for him over the years. <laughs> nicely done, walking it in. A good pass save. The 25-year-old superstar from Western Australia. He has the lead going into round three of this 40-net Australian 
PGA Championship. Still some players on course to complete their second rounds here at Royal Queensland. Minwoo Lee won clear of Adam Scott. John Lyris is one of those still on course with four to play. With the summer of tennis right around the corner, Wide World of Sports has every angle covered. From match highlights, press conferences and every breaking news story, Wide World of Sports is your home of tennis. So click that subscribe button so you don't miss a thing this summer.